Heeren. Alles nicht klar. Das ist nicht gut. With a capital G-U-T. I had this Zotrax 3D printer for an eye on two years, but meaning to do a review. However, the days fly past like paper in the wind. Here we are. Crew and Captain Well seasoned two years later. Da, da, da. Being a cynical optimist contrarian, it's a thing. I was not an early adopter of this technology with all the breathless reviews on how you're going to be able to print your own handguns and make anything. And yeah, <laughs> I saw the early editions of the rep wraps in action as well as the maker bots and all that stuff. And it seemed to me like more headache than it was worth. I waited for the technology to sort of catch up to the breathless optimism and it's it's pretty good now you can print stuff out but as you see you leave it you leave it for 16 hours on its own to do its thing chooching away and of course you come back to a reenactment of uh, the birth of the spaghetti monster may his noodly appendages be upon you ramen objections pertaining to the inferiority of plastique aside no doubt there is no argument that when the 3d printer is working the extrusion printer is working it's a nifty little tool because it allows you to take something virtual in the confuser and make it physical form you can put your dirty dick beaters all over it and see if there's any kind of wonkiness or any kind of weirdness going on what you need to change before you actually make it out of a proper material like metal the software has developed to such a stage that it knows when it needs to add supports. So the software is 100%, I would say it's 99.99% mature. Patently obvious to the most freshly forked of dorks, the mechanicals. They just ain't there. So what went wrong? Well, you can see we lost some steps. Now the steppers, there's no feedback. So it's open loop steppers. There's no encoder on the back side of those to tell the confusers, hey, I lost a step, you better take it up. So what ends up happening here is we continually lose steps and we're looking at, we lost steps in the Y direction, as you see. Now, why would we lose steps in the Y direction? Very likely there was some sort of mechanical linkage problem. And if you look at the polished bars there, you see just a patina on that one of some crud and that crud is to, enough to completely cock up your entire weekend. Quite frankly, I have no idea what the malfunction in the conjunction is. I intend to find out if we, uh, uh, very likely you're not allowed to back drive this, but she's already fucked. You can't fuck her anymore. And also all well, the standard rules applies. If it ain't broke, fix it until it is. I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. It was just working yesterday. Yeah, there's a sticky spot there. Either the rods are bent, which I doubt it. I never dropped this or nothing. Or there's just some, yeah, look at that. Hardened schmoo on there. She's right tight right there. So we'll get the wiener sliding out. We'll clean that out. Whether you be fixing or fucking, a mechanical contrivance mind. There's always the question, which comes down to heuristics, whether bigger the gob or little dab will do you. Bigger the gob, the better the job. Little dab will do you. Seeing as how this thing so finite persnickety, I would venture to say that little dab will do you. And then we can always move on to bigger the gob, the better the job. Unfortunately, that is the state of the art in 3D printing. Half a microgram of human skin flakes enough to cock up the entire clock works despite being america's favorite libation now wiener schleiden 40 it's good it's, it's multi-purpose and anytime you get a tool that does everything that means it's no fucking good at anything in particular so i'm gonna put some very light oil on here it looks like the bushings are a du or a, like a teflon however i do see some bronze so it might just be straight bronze on these CPO shafts, uh, chrome polish OD shafts. It is quite rigid and I've been running it back and forth here. See the problem is 
these shafts need to not only slide but rotate. They rotate as well. So anytime you get into one position where it's not rotating that, and then you have to overcome the stiction, the static stiction, I think that's when it cocks up. Other stuff, cheap and good. The, it, people been using this since Christ was a cowboy. So what you want to do is just goop that on there from hell to breakfast. Click. I checked all the fasteners, everything tight, belt tension's tight. Cleaned these up again, reapplied the lube. Looks good. A little bit of a problem here with the hot end. And I don't know if this was just part and parcel of making the spaghetti monster. You can tell it was ratcheting there because there's some detritus in the bore that would be ratcheted off uh, hot end material. What do you call that? Plastique. So I think we're good to go. We're going to get rid of this dingle dangle, put it over on the wall of shame. Scrapey, scrapey, scrapey. I, I use these flexible uh, putty knives, but I sharpen the edge and then flatten it off. I had been using the shop knife, but you break so many blades because you get in there so far that uh, it snaps off and they're made, you know, they are made to snap off. So. This works for me. As a Canadian, I'm predisposed to curling problems. Go ahead and switch it over to the CBC there. You'll see they'll be running a tournament of hearts or some other curling. I don't know what the appeal is. Sure is fun to play though, mainly because you get the drink. But the basil platen on these plastic things, they curl up and I found that the Yoohoo stick, you just put a little extra sticktivity on there and it helps you out immensely. Let's have another go with this. Key contact. This takes a while. Twas once a young fellow of Leeds who swallowed a packet of seeds. In a month, his ass was covered in grass and he couldn't sit down for the weeds. This takes a while, as I was saying. Just go ahead and check this out. Just got to warm up and, oh no. Okay, so we go models. And then uh, the SIG mag loader. Print. I got one better. Uh, Twas once a young lass from Leeds who'd circumcised men with her teeth. Twas not for money nor love of the game, but to get at the cheese underneath. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, fuck this. I'm making some coffee. How long has this been sitting here? Nobody knows. Good for your constitution. Oh, look at that. Not even moldy. And we're printing. See you in 16 hours. Once you pass the initial shock and awe, this has all the appeal of watching paint dry. <laughs> One thing they don't tell you, however, when they're selling you these or you're showing your videos, there's a fucking mighty stank to her. Melted plastique is not the most appealing flavor. When it, uh, balls just dropped. When it works, it fucking works. Look at that little Smurf village. Still got some schmoo on this here, right? Look at that. I'll be going through that on occasion uh, more often, lubricating and cleaning off the crap there. Maybe even put a cover over here when it's not in use. There you have it. 3D printing with a high-end uh, Zor tracks. Fan fucking tastic when it works. Just needs a, a bit of tweaking here and there change the color here maybe uh, make these out of red a little bit more appealing but yeah if if a bumblefuck like yours truly can manage to get this thing dancing the fandango then it ain't tea bag thanks for watching keep your dick in a voice